I am now on the line with Alex from NYNews.com. How's it going, Alex? Good. How's it going, Alex? Chilling, man. Hey, you were going to go to Yankee Stadium for opening day, but it got snowed out. You were going to build snowmen <laughs> out in the Bronx. Yeah, yeah. Did you actually yeah, well, make it? No, I didn't go the way um, the way I planned. I had to get back home to Virginia, but I'm sure I'll be up there sooner rather than later. So, Alex, what do you think about all these injuries and now the young studs in the Yankees minor league system can play on the major league level? Well, um, this isn't the way I wanted to see the guys be coming up, but this is this is why you have to have a deep system. Injuries do happen, and when you're missing big guys, you don't have any depth. It's tough, but, you know, we got guys like Andahar that can fill in. He's already got a major league-worthy bet. Um, and so it's not the end of the world. I do want to get our get our guys back, though. Nobody wants to stay hurt. Exactly. What do you think about the Yankees so far this season, about how the bullpen has been utilized and how some of our starting rotation hasn't gone deep? to give the Yankees the innings that they are looking for? Well, you know, um, obviously you, you, you want to take it with a little bit of a grain of salt just because uh, it is early. A lot of pitchers haven't need to be stretched out a little bit more. It does happen. It's, it's four games into the season. I know Sonny Gray only has 89 pitches. Um, if that's a continuing issue come July, then that's a real problem. But I do believe that a lot of these pitchers need to be stretched out more. It's not that uncommon. Um, I remember seeing times when Mariano used to get hit around the first couple times out. So he did okay for himself at the end of the day. Um, so I mean, I'm not I'm not thinking too much into it. Um, you know, D-Rob, the grand slam, it's tough to take. Uh, Canely's home run he gave up. But, again, we need to reevaluate it down the road. If it's a continuing issue, then something needs to be – addressed but right now taking it with a grain of salt exactly what do you think about the analytics aspect though of this new manager Aaron Boone relying on stats instead of relying on his instincts what do you think about that should he continue to look at analytics and stats or use his gut instincts well I think I think analytics do have a place um, but you can is you can very easily overanalyze things. And the best example of that was not Boone, but Gabe Kapler in Philadelphia. Analytics, if you do it too much, you'll make the dumbest decisions ever, like not warming up your pitcher and pulling a pitcher out. Yeah. Um, but, but your gut instinct is usually your best bet. Um, I mean, I, I think Girardi last year letting D-Rob pitch three innings in the wild card game, that was a great gut instinct. No analytics, analytics will actually tell you that. And you have to analyze the game properly, and some things statistics won't tell you. So there is a there is a, a part that analytics does play, but at some point you got to go with your gut instinct. Exactly. Uh, do you know if the Yankees play a doubleheader tomorrow, or they're just, just going to play one game? It's just going to be one game. They um the, the home opener. It's a two two game series with Tampa, but it was going to be game Monday off Tuesday, and then. A game Wednesday, so now we just the off day is essentially moved to today, and tomorrow we'll have opening day. Exactly. Uh, the Orioles come to town. Do you think they're going to give the Yankees a hard time or what? Yeah, I'm sure they'll get hyped up for it because everyone seems to get hyped to play the Yankees, but if they're playing like they just did yesterday, I'm not too worried about them. Exactly. I see a lot of positives from the Yankees, and I see a couple of negatives. I think the Yankees should hold on to leads and stuff like that. We all thought the bullpen was going to be their strong point, but I know it's early in the season. But, um, yeah, I saw a couple of negatives from Tanaka. He almost had two home runs off of him. But, um, yeah, that's just one of my main concerns for the overall season is if Tanaka can give you solid outings every time he hits the mound. But, um what I saw from him the first game, he almost gave up two home runs instead of one. What do you think about that? Well, again, it does it does play to the part where I think a lot of these uh, pitchers aren't necessarily in the groove yet. Um, maybe that's the homer decision, but I think that's 
good and bad decisions need to be taken with a grain of salt right now. I think a lot of people are going to need work. Um, we're, there's a real possibility um, come Thursday, Jacoby Ellsbury gets activated because we need outfielders. He missed all of spring training. I don't expect much of anything from him. So yeah. It's too early to really have a, a legitimate decision on it, um, so I want to see more of it. But there, those are legitimate concerns considering that Tanaka had some problems last year, and the one I am concerned about is Batantis, who has not been right in the last four plus months of baseball. So, you know the problem I saw with the Yankees last year, and it's been happening for a couple of seasons now. They can't really sweep teams. It's like a rare occurrence now that the Yankees sweep a team, and you're gonna know if the Yankees are gonna have a great season if they sweep teams on a consistent basis. But when the Yankees were so so. They would win about like two games out of three. They would rarely um, sweep um, teams. So, in my opinion, if we know the Yankees are going to have a great season, it's going to come by if the Yankees can consistently sweep teams. What do you think about that? I do agree with that. It's, it's a testament to having long winning streaks. Um, now, there's there are parts where, you know, consistency, I, I, I like the idea of constantly winning series. You're obviously not going to go 162-0. and But, you know, um, winning too many games in a row, I think Cleveland got hot too early last year. They won 22 yeah. straight. And uh, in all reality, the Yankees beat them four out of five games, but you're already blew one. But there is, a, there is a testament where you get streaky. You do get hot at certain times, and you get cold very quickly. Uh, but, no, you are right, and um, – I did notice a lot of times when we would lose games, like these last two games that we did lose, um, those were both very winnable games, but they were blown. So there's there's games that we're going to lose that we shouldn't, but that's why we got to adjust and act accordingly. I'm, I'm okay with it happening now instead of in October. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's great that it's happening so early in the season like that. You could just like not sweep it under the rug, but it's it's better that they learn early in the season. So, uh, Alex, any closing statements you want to make? It's, you have the floor. You can say whatever you want. Well, you know, it's been a little rough. It's been a very entertaining uh, four games of the season so far, being that we've had so many injuries. But I would say this, the future and the present is very bright for the Yankees. We have a few injuries, but none of them are too drastic. And we're going to have these guys healthy before you know it and on to a very successful season. Exactly. Um, I forgot to ask you this question. What do you think about Garrett Cole's outing over in Houston? Yeah, uh, you know, he looked great. Um, but again, it's early. I, anything good and bad is has to be looked at subjectively. I, guys like that to get hyped up for their first start. I mean, look at Stanton for his first game. He did pretty well himself. So exactly. again, it's a long season. So do you think Andahor is going to step up now that he has a chance? And especially uh, Tyler Austin. I love Tyler Austin at first, by the way. I do. I think Tyler Austin is an outstanding player. Um, and, you know, if Bird can't stay on the field, then Tyler Austin's got a legitimate job. Um, exactly. And the heart doesn't have it. And Hart doesn't have a job if he's going to be playing third base. But if first base is available, it could be an And the versus Tyler Austin battle, and Greg Bird's going to be on the outside looking in. Yeah, and in my That's opinion, yeah, Tyler Austin's going to put up great numbers by the time Greg Bird comes back that it's going to be hard for Greg Bird to – get his job back. I think they're just going to mix and match when he comes back. But it's not a guarantee that Greg Bird, that position is his. No, you're, you're right. And it's like the same thing we were saying with uh, Caprillion last time. You know, you got to be able to stay healthy. And if you can't, someone's going to take that job. Your replacement a lot, always a lot closer than you think. Exactly. So this has been Alex from com. Hey, Alex, um, I know there's a lot of Yankees fans listening to this. You wanted to make like a get together. People hit up the stadium together. Any plans of when you're going to hit up the stadium? Well, uh, I plan on getting up there to when the Angels are playing in, I believe it was the end of May when Otani's going to be there. So I'm going to do my best to get up there myself, and I hope everyone can join me. Yeah, for sure. We're going to make uh, arrangements for that, and you're going to meet Alex the Legend, Alex Sensation, who served our country honorably. And you're going to get to meet him and maybe the Salmonetti source as well. Sounds like a great idea. Let's do it. Yeah. So, Alex, great having you again. I'm going to upload this, and I'll check you out next time, man. All right. I'll talk to you soon. 